What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Life and Cody back at our another Ashes Cricket career mode. And as you guys can see, we are in the Sheffield Shield. Uh, the Australian State Shield, JLT Sheffield Shield, as its full name is. But yeah, it's going to be our first game. There's the lineup I'm playing for the Tasmanian Tigers. And we've got a pretty good lineup. Look at that. Pretty much everyone's good, you know? Um. And yeah, I think I'm going to have a look at the lineup, but I think I'm going to leave it for the first game. I'm just going to leave it the way it is, like the default lineup. Lineup's all set. Let's play ball, ladies and gentlemen. It's the Tasmanian Tigers versus Queensland Bulls. First class game at Bloodstone Arena. And it's the first game of Laughing Coyote in the Sheffield Field. And he's um, coming in as a captain of the team. His opening partner will be Tim Payne, the wicketkeeper, the Aussie international. It's a soft and crumbly wicket. The temperature's a bit on the low side. I mean, it is uh, winter time. Uh, overcast condition, 20% chance of rain. And uh, yeah, throughout, you know, all four days, it looks like it's going to be a bit on the low side, which is all right, I guess. It's not that bad. I mean, you don't want it too hot, but you don't want it too cold either, which it's not. So that's good. Bloodstone Arena. <clears throat> all right. Queensland is gonna call. They've won the toss, and they're gonna bowl first. All right, that might not be a very good decision, but we will see if it is or it isn't. And yeah, it's very good to see this league being uh, well. Not, it's not really a league, but the Sheffield uh, Shield being licensed officially in the game. So yeah, Tim Payne come alongside the captain, Laughing Coyote, who is playing in this shield for the first time in his career. Cameron Gannon will be opening for Queensland Bulls. Can I finally get off the mark? Oh, yes, that's played into the gap. And it's going to go all the way, I think. Yes, it has. That's four runs. So I get off the mark with a boundary. That's one way to do it. I think the crowd is waiting for the ball to get to them. Is it going to get to them? Okay, I tried. It didn't go to them. But will it go to the boundary at least? I'm going to run. Okay, because it was slowing down tremendously. And I didn't know if it was going to go to the boundary. But yeah, it did. Is this it? You know what? Oh, that struck well. That's out of the frame. That's gone, ski mate. That has to go over. Yep, it's gone over the side screen as well. 91 meters. That is what I was looking for. The sweet spot. And I finally got it. I think it was a full toss. Yes, it was. <laughs> I absolutely smashed it. Look at how high it went. And it's a pink ball as well. I just realized that. We're playing with a pink ball. That's good to see. You know what? Let's go into the covers. Oh, that's played well. I think it's gone. Yeah, you know what? I'm not even going to run. Oh, please go. Okay, good. <laughs> I was like, I'm not even running, so it's going to make me look like a right mug if I don't run and it doesn't go to the boundary for four. I'm hoping it turns away. Oh, that came back, but I still managed to hit it, and it's cleared the field, uh, and that's my single. I've been waiting so long to complete my 50. There's me first half century in the Sheffield field there it is with 68 deliveries three fours and one six we finally got it mate I was waiting for a long time for that there's a wagon wheel one big hit straight down the ground and just all around the rest of them really singles and doubles there a couple of boundaries Cameron Gannon back into the attack this one's looking good you know oh we smashed my stump out Yep, I was a bit late on it because I wasn't sure if I should play a lofty shot or a grounded shot. Decided to play a... <sighs> Decided to play a grounded shot too late and I'm gone. He smashed my stump out. And look at that. The ball is all roughed up. You can see. I don't... Is that the seam, the black? I don't... I didn't know that. They, they use black, um... I guess thread to uh, make the seam. But yeah, I'm gone, Ski. Tim Payne, whoa, 122, 58 for Doolin. 68, 76 for Jewel. Oh, wow. Great innings that was from us. And uh, we took a couple of wickets. And no, it looks white now. Why was it black earlier? Yeah, it looks white. Well, not white, but like, you know, not black. Let's just put it that way. Uh, but yeah. We're in a pretty good uh, position at the moment. We've taken a couple of wickets. We've put up a great total. So um, it's looking A-OK -okay for us. La Oh, I don't even know how to say that name. Can you guys tell me how to say that name? If any of you know how to say that name. You know La Bouchanier? <laughs> Ch 
champagne, you know, Labuschagne or something. Uh, what am I saying? I just looked it up. It's Labuschagne, Labuschagne, or something like that. I don't know. Some, I don't, whatever. <laughs> am I saying that right? It sounds so weird. Is that out? Come on, that has to be out. That's straight in front. Everybody goes up, and the finger goes up as well. And Labuschagne or Labuschagne or whatever. <laughs> I'm so sorry, mate. I don't know how to say her name. He's gone for 15. Man, it's Lab. I'll ju I'm just gonna stick with Labuschagne because I know it, it, it said Labuschagne or something when I looked it up online, but that sounds so wrong, <laughs> you know, for an Australian especially, uh, but yeah, uh, there's that, <laughs> I'm so sorry, let's check the, uh, the trail thing, the big eye, it looked a bit off to me, yeah, you see, Okay, it's some pie skull. I, I I was a bit doubtful. Uh, but yeah, it's good. It's good. La Baskachny is gone. <laughs> oh, that's played well. Ever so nicely. Wow, that was such a soft shot and it's gone for four. I think it's a very quick outfield. Wow. Run show. That was played tremendously well. I just realized I'm assuming that La Baskachny guy was Australian. He might not be. That's a lovely shot off the legs. Is the fielder going to stop it? No, he slides. And takes the ball with him over the road. But yeah, Labuskachny could be like an African name. He could be South African. I just realized. I mean, you don't have to be Australian to play. I'm not Australian. I'm playing in this Sheffield Shield. You know what? Let's go the short one. Ooh, I'm going to go for it even though I know it's not out. It's a day. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> oh, that looks out. That looks out. Is that out? Yes, it is. The Empire gives it out. That's me a second wicket in the Sheffield Shield. And that's a big wicket as well. It's Hazlitt. He's gone for 59. Sam Hazlitt. Hazlitt? Hazlitt? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> and uh, Forrest. No, not Forrest. Pearson. Jimmy Pearson is the next man in. And I've gotten two wickets already. If I can take the rest of uh, those. That would be brilliant once again. I'm doubtful on that, this one. Uh, it came back a little bit, but yeah, it's going to be Empire Skull again, isn't it? OX actually hit in the middle of the stump. But this one's not as close as the other one, but still close enough. All right. Two wickets. Can I get a five-wicket haul? I haven't gotten a five-wicket haul in my career yet. It would be brilliant to get one on my debut in the Sheffield Shield. Ooh, that's out. I think it's out. Oh, yes, it is. It's hit the back leg, and that's always close. It was a bit high, but then again, it hit the back leg, and that might have done the trick. I'll all, uh, obviously be showing you the uh, big eye or the Hawkeye, but Pearson's gone for seven runs only, and uh, Waldemuth is the next man. Jack is the next man in, and uh, yeah, they're not looking good. They're trailing by 214 runs, and they've lost about six wickets. You know, let's see this one. Because it went inside. It was supposed to be an outswinger, but for some reason it went in. And yeah, again, again it's hit in the middle of the stump, but the leg stump. And these are all very close calls, but the Empire's getting them right, so that's good to see. And it, I think it missed the bat, but you're going to be too sure, right? Let's confirm that too. Uh, but I th I'm pretty sure it missed the bat. Yeah. Yeah, it missed the bat. Let's do oh! Oh my god, how did that miss the stump? This is possibly the best spell I've ever bowled. And this is my debut. I'm making quite an impression on these Aussie fans. That's the end of that session. And it wasn't very good for the Bulls, but it was very good for the Tigers. Specifically for Coyote, taking two wickets on his debut. Three wickets, sorry, not two. And the all-important wicket of La Buscachne. I just can't stop saying it, mate. It's such an amazing name. If you're someone who has that last name, you fucking, you're amazing, dude. You're like instantly more cool than I am. Like instantly. That's such an amazing name. It's just brilliant. Especially the way you pronounce it. I, I hope that's how you pronounce it. I'm not, like I said, I just Googled it. Google is not always right, you know. Usually I take three, <gasps> come on, let's try our luck. Nope, I was going to say usually we take three wickets, and after that I'm unable to take wickets. Let's hope this time it's different, and I can go on to take four and perhaps five wicket. My first ever five wicket all, that would be great. I keep bowling outswingers. Oh, this one actually swing, swung out. That's why it's not out. 
You know, I keep bowling these outswingers, and after it pitches, it goes in. This one didn't. That's why it was a bit, um, well, it was outside the, the line. All right. So that's probably the most exciting thing that's happened in the past, like, ten overs. Probably going to leave this in, because, uh... Well, yeah, well, I've just been bowling straight maidens. That's it. <laughs> so there's really nothing to share. Let's go with a full length. Oh! Oh! Oh, he's dropped it. But that's all right, though. You know what? I'm not going to hold that against him, because that wasn't easy. I mean, he saved a boundary there. Should be glad for that. That is not easy. That's, that's amazing fielding, dude. If he'd cashed that, that would have been even better. But still, just the fact that he stopped that boundary. Look at that. Oh, yeah, it was a catch. It was definitely a catch. He's dropped it, but it was his athleticism that made it a catch in the first place, so let's not forget that. You know what? I am feeling lucky. I think I've got him. Wait, have I? Oh, oh, stop, 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 stop. Yes, yes. This dickhead keeper was going to pick up the ball before it hit the stump. He did that in the last, well, not him, but another keeper did that in the last episode. I think it was the last one. I'm not too sure. It might have been the one before that. But look at that. He almost stopped the ball from hitting the stumps. But thankfully, he hits it before. And you know what? That was very minimal contact. I don't think in real life that would actually dislodge the bales. I've hit the ball, hit the wicket uh, a lot harder than that. And the, uh, the bale's not, you know, falling off. So, uh, Stachetti. Wow, Mark Stachetti. These are some amazing names you guys have, Australians. I'm assuming these are Aussies. Like I said, they might very well not be Aussies. But yeah, we were in a very comfortable position. Four wickets I've got now. I think that's the first time. Or maybe I think I've gotten them once before. Not too sure. But I know for a fact that I haven't get, I've gotten a five wicket all. Four wickets I might have. I'm not too sure. But maybe once. Oh, let's go with a full length. Oh! Did that. I think he hit it with the bat first. But it's worth appealing. It was a slower delivery. And that did the trick. Stickety, stickety, stickety. Oh, it swept in. Oh, 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 is that a five wicket haul? Is that a five wicket That's fucking my first ever five wicket haul. Let's go, mate. Let's do this. Oh, my God. There we go. So that milestone has been reached as well. And it's Mitch Swepson, not Stickety, who's gone skate for 24 runs. And they're nine down for 200, what, 254, I think it was? Something like that. Yeah, it's not looking, yeah, 254 exactly, and they're trailing by 148, so they have, um, they've officially crossed the, the, uh, oh, I was expecting another wicket on that one. They've officially crossed the, what is it called, the limit, or the cap for the follow-on, so you need uh, uh, to be trailing by at least 150 for us to enforce the follow-on, so they've avoided the follow-on. Uh, which is good news for them, but they're still trailing by quite a lot of runs. Oh, I know it's not out, but, you know, you never know. <laughs> they have given uh, obscenely wrong decisions before, so that's why I always, I always go for it. Oh, he got the last wicket as well. And your boy is out there again, Latin Coyote. Represent Tasmania. Isn't that who Ponting we used to play for? Ricky Panther. Exceptional batsman. They don't make him like that anymore, do they? Anyways, I think Alester Cook was like the last proper classic batsman, you know, and he's gone as well. I will miss him, man. I, I liked him a lot. He was such a classic batsman. Alester Cook, that is. Also Ricky Ponting. Ricky Ponting, of course, was a great uh, batsman and captain. Yeah. Come on, can I make that? Yes, he can. Good. Now, let's go with a cut. Oh, my God. I wanted to play a cut shot, but not one that risky and that precise. It's gone for four, mate. It's paid off, but wow, that was, that was really risky, mate. And that's a no ball as well. Oh, so I couldn't have gotten out. Okay. So it was a good delivery I picked to take the risk, eh? Now, let's go on the off. Oh, that was probably the worst delivery playing off cut sort of shot because that came back a lot and that's another no ball what is this guy doing come on mate you gotta work on your your run up that's what the umpire would tell me every time I'd bowl a no ball and I'd tell him you need to work on your eyesight because you know when you're young and stupid you don't ever take advice from anyone oh that's a short one and it's a no ball and oh my god the slip caught that one that was that wide or maybe the 
Keeper. Oh my, wow, that was huge. Well, let's go straight down the ground. And have I hit it well enough? Oh no, 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 no. The mid on might met off, I mean. Nope, he doesn't get to it. It's gone for four. Thought the deep mid on might get to it, but not to be. Not today, little boy. You know what? I'm looking. That cover, extra cover's looking nice and open, and it's gone. That's gone. Don't need to run after that one. 85 meters. That's 11 runs off the over already. It's a big hit. It struck so nicely. Sweet timing. That one came back into me. That was a googly. But I picked it up well. Look at that. It's Gunsky. You know what? Let's go in the same area again. Have I hit it well? Yes, I have. There's no fielder there. So even if I haven't, I think it's still going to go to the boundary. Yes, it is. Wow, 15 runs off that one. <laughs> I've given, given Swepson quite a beating. Got him out with the ball, and now with the bat, I'm smashing him around the park. It's not fair to him, is it? Come on, let's go. <gasps> Ooh, okay, yeah, I've got this. That's gone. That's six. I'm in a, quite a mood. 85 meters. The crowd is loving it, and so am I. Is that my 50th? Not too sure. Am I even close to 50? The thing is, I don't look at my score or even the total. Which is not good at all. That's another thing the Empire used to tell me. that You need, you need to count how many balls you bowl. And I'm like, you, that's your job, mate. Well, shut up. I hated that guy. Because, I mean, he was trying to help me, really. But I just fucking hated him. Because I thought he was against me, you know. He would tell me all these things, you know. And I, I thought it meant, like, he's uh, putting me down in a way. <laughs> in reality, he was just trying to help me. Anyways, you know what? Extra cover. Oh, my God. Come on. I was gonna say that extra cover is looking good, but the baller was like, no, 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 your off stump's looking even better. And he gets it. Look at that, it goes right through me and smashes me off stump out. I think it's the same baller who got me out in the set, uh, last inning as well. And how many runs, once again, I don't know how many runs I've just scored. I think I've scored like 40 some runs, 45 I think it was. Something like that, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, 45 right there. I'm gone. Just five runs short of my half century, but um, our team is in a pretty good position. Oh, actually, no. We've got three for 96. We're not in all that good of a position at all. I thought we were, but we aren't. We're doing quite all right, actually. One over, 300, one small. Oh, wow, we're doing really well. Yeah, now we've taken six wickets. And they've scored 132 just. So we're in a very good position. My best is two for three? Come on, I just took five wickets in the first innings. Maybe that hasn't registered yet because the game is just not finished yet. Wait, I just realized something. Oh! My bowler just changed his, um... It's not out, yeah, it wasn't out. My bowler, now he's wearing full sleeves. It's not like he's wearing a sweater or something on top, a jumper or something. You know, he just changed the shirt to full sleeves. I swear it was half sleeves. In the beginning of uh, when I started my spell. I don't know what's going on with this game. <laughs> this game is just on another level, isn't it? And there's another maiden. Labuskachny's out there again. Look at that. 34 runs. Oh, lovely shot. Oh, get him out. Get him out. Get him out. And he's gone. Labuskachny on your way, mate. Because Wildermuth was on strike. So, yeah. Yeah, Labuskachny's gone. It's not good. I don't, I don't know why I'm happy. I like this guy. I want him to stay out there. Because I want to keep saying his name. Labuskachny, Labuskachny, Labuskachny. Anyways. He's gone for 34. That was quite a hit, though. Look at that. He's hitting it from side on, so he's only seeing one stump, and he hits it. Direct hit, mate. And he's gone, Ske. Lavaskachny is gone. Lavaskachny. One more time. Lavaskachny. <laughs> Sorry if this is annoying. I love saying his name. It's such a brilliant name. I really do think it's an amazing name. I'm not, like, making fun of this name. I might feel like I am, but I'm not. I love this name. I wish I had that name. Anyways, Swepson's out there now. And can I get him out? Can I get him out? Because I think he got me out twice. Ooh, what a shot. Oh, that's a shot and a half. That's a proper batsman shot. You know, it's not a tail ender's shot. He's gone for four. Wow, that deserved four from it. It's a lovely place shot. Let's go with the Yorker. Can I get him out? Oh, oh, come on. I think he's hit it with the bat. Yeah, he did. <laughs> also, why is it that you can't... Whoa, that swung a lot. Is that out? Yes, it is. What does that say? Bowled over. What does that mean? You took two. Oh, I took two under the wickets. 
Well, that swung a lot for a moment there. I thought it might be missing the off stump because it swung so much. And Weldemar has gone only scoring five runs. I've just taken a wicket. I was just going to say, why is it that whenever you take lots of wicket in the f wickets in the first innings, then you barely take any in the second? And uh, there, just as I was about to say that, I dismissed Waldemuth and Skeddity, Steckity, I mean, Skeddity, what is that? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm losing my bloody mind. He's out there in the middle, look at how much it's swinging, and that's surely gone, that's surely gone. Two wickets, am I on a hat for it? Come on, I have to be, yes I am. Tim Payne takes the catch and has gone for a golden one. Spent zero minutes out there, that's because he spent a couple of seconds, and he's on his way. We've surely won this game. Um, yeah, they're not gonna. They're not gonna get to it. We've put up quite a big uh, target for them to chase, and uh, they're down nine. But like I'm saying, the ball is swinging so much. I don't know if it's the pink ball or if it's the rough pitch. I don't know what's happening. But yeah, I'm loving it. I'm loving life, mate. Two wickets, just as I was complaining about not getting wickets in the second innings. I take two. Look at that, two for ten. Come on, can I get another wicket? It's a hat trick delivery. Come on. Come on, I believe I can get the hat trick. Nope, I can't. All right, come on, boys. Let's just finish this off. And we have, I think that's the first victory. Yep, Tasmania won by 300 runs. Holy shiza. The Tigers have won by 300 runs. And your boy is the player of the game. Oh, look at that. He scored 402 up top. And yeah, it was uh, overall very good performance. Great with the bat, great with the ball. And um, all right, so let's go in detail. I scored 53. <clears throat> Tim Payne scored 122. Brilliant knock for him. 58 for Doon, 76 for Joel, uh, 8 for Dermot, Golden one for 6. Uh, Silk, 67 for Webster. Malenko got uh, 12, uh, 15 only. 3 for Boyce. And yeah, just a couple more runs for the other guys. And Gannon got 2 wickets. 1 for Skeddy. Skeddy, man, come on. Why do I keep saying this name wrong? I like this name too, but I keep getting it wrong. Swepson got four wickets. Brilliant bowling figures for Swepson there. And our wicket for Weldermuth as well, restricting us to 402 runs and 95.3 overs. Steckity. Yeah, that's it. Steckity. That's how. Is that how you say it? I didn't Google that one, so I don't know if, that, if I'm even saying it right or not. All right. Renshaw got 56, then Lynch only got. <clears throat> not Lynch, Lynn only got 11, 24 for Humphrey, 15 for Labush, uh, what is it, how do you say it, I forgot, Labuskachny, there we go, I got it, <laughs> he's like got uh, fi uh, 59, Forrest got 24, 7 for Pearson, Waldemar got 20, Swepson got 24, Steckity got 11, and Gan got 1, please let me know if I'm saying both of these names right or wrong, I assume it's Steckity, but uh, I googled Labuskachny and I think that's how you say it, but it might be just Labuschain because, you know, like champagne. I'm not sure. I don't, I don't know. Let me know. <laughs> oh, look at that. So we got Fekity. So we got Steckity and now we got Fekity. Look at that. I, I feel like I'm cursing every time I say that name. <laughs> one wicket for him. Malenko got one. Five, I got all for your boy. And 1.44 economy rate as well. Look at that. What an amazing bowling figures. And Joyce and Joel got one each as well. And we restricted them to 256 runs in just 69.5 uh, overs. Cheeky 69 overs. Then we came out to bat in the second innings. I got 45, just five short of my half century. Second one in this league. 28 for Payne, 4 for Duel, and Joel got uh, 46, 25 for McDermott, 46 for Selk. Webster got 74, big innings there. 33 for Malenko, uh, 17 for Boyce. Kingston got 2 and none for Fekety. Wow, that's uh, some amazing names they've got here. Fickety, <laughs> wow. And the Bulls, uh, again, got two. Stickety got four. Two for Waldemar and two for Swepson. Didn't get the four wickets this time, Swepson. But Stickety instead got it. And, uh, yeah, 325. They restricted us to a lower total in the first innings. But still, the damage was, uh, damage was done, you know, because they didn't score that many runs in their innings. So... And also, 325 is not a small total either. So uh, then they came out, 43 for Renshaw, Lynn got 13, 19 for Humphrey, 34 for Labuskachny, uh, 18 for Hazlett, Forrest got uh, 11, Pearson got 7, 5 for Oldermutt, and Swepson got uh, 21 not out, Golden 1 for Steckity, and Gannon got 8 runs, 171 only, and 48.4 overs only. We got them all out. And uh, yeah, it was uh, it was just 
overall an amazing performance for us with the ball and the bat and that is why we won by 300 runs you know but uh, let's take a look at the bowling figures so feckity imagine if it's not feckity at all it's just feck it <laughs> that'd be fantastic took one Kingston took one boys got two uh, Joel didn't get in any uh, Webster got one two for Malenko and two for myself as well so overall a very good game for me I uh, scored a half century in the first innings Almost scored a half century in the second. Got a five wicket all in the first one and two wickets in the second. That's why I got player of the game and we won by 300 big boy runs. And I'm the captain as well. So that's fir first win as a captain added uh, to the statistics as well. All right, that is it, ladies and gentlemen, for this episode. In the next episode, we'll be playing Sheffield uh, Shield round two against Western Warriors. And as always, if you like this video, smash that like button. And then that's like, subscribe, comment, share, do whatever you want to do. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, have a nice.